Okay, here we are again. Let's take a look at some other types of verses. We've got the Alexandrian verse, which is a classic French verse from the 12th century. It's been used over time by other poets. Most are made up of two hemistic sections. These are uh, half lines of six syllables each. So in one verse, it'll, you know, you have six syllables, and then you'll get a break, and then you'll have six more syllables. These uh, two sections here are broken up by the Kaisura. And I put these two marks here so you could see where um, they break up in the middle of a poem here. So these are rare in English, but they do exist. Uh, here's one in French by Nicolas Boileau. So this one here would say, Que toujours ton veau vert. There's a Kaisura there. Le sang coupant les mots. Suspend de la mystique. There's a comma there to show that that pauses. A marque le repos. So that would be a six and six with a six and six. And these two words here are rhyming also. Let's take a look at an epigram. This is a short witty saying in verse with a satirical twist at the end. Famous poets like John Donne, Alexander Pope, Lord Byron, Ezra Pound, Voltaire, Yeats, others also have written them. Here's one by Taylor Coolridge. Sir, I admit your general rule that every poet is a fool, but you yourself may serve to show it, that every fool is not a poet. Let's take a look now at the doggerel. This is a poem that has a regular rhythm and rhyme, sometimes on purpose, sometimes not. What I mean by this is some people write them because they want it to be irregular. Other people write them and they don't really know that they're irregular. They're just writing a poem and it ends up to be a doggerel. Here's an example. So this has small, uh, you know, small text. I did that on purpose because I want to show you here, you know, of the, the actual length. So take a look at this, the Tay Bridge disaster. So you can see here the length of the verse. They're all super short here, very short here, very long. And the rhyme scheme, we've got sight, moonlight, bray, tay, tay lay, dismay, way, say, then we've got buttress and confess and build and killed. So the rhyme scheme, there is a rhyme scheme, but you know, it's pretty irregular. And this is an example of a doggerel. A doggerel written on purpose, an example is a limerick. I'm sure you've heard a lot of these. This is a stanza of five lines. The first, second, and fifth lines rhyme. Here's an anonymous one. There once was a young lady named Bright, whose speed was much faster than light. She set out one day in a relative way and returned on the previous night. So you can see here, we've got night, light, and bright. These will rhyme here. And we've got two rhymes here with day and way. So that's an example of a limerick. Some poetry styles are connected with the time of day, such as the obad and the serenade. The obad is a morning love song or poem or one about lovers in separation at that hour. The serenade is an evening love song or poem. Uh, here's an excerpt of John Donne's about the rising sun. So you can see here, it definitely has that tone to it. Busy old fool, unruly sun, why dost thou thus? Through windows and through curtains call on us. Must to thy motions lovers seasons run? You know, this, it's much longer than that, but I just wanted to give you an excerpt to show that this is an example of an Abad because it definitely has the theme of the morning. So Abad morning and serenade in the evening.